Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to GoMahamaya.com and in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use read more element or extension in our website. And during this video, we are going to learn two options. Number one, how to create read more inside any of the posts. Let's say this is the read more option and there's nothing below this. If I'll click and it will expand and that read more will be gone. So like that read more we are going to create, this is by using codings, a small code that I'll give you how to do that. And one more thing we'll learn is we'll go to our main page and like wherever blog page or archive page we have there, if you scroll down so many places, you'll find continue reading or read more posts like that. You will see uh, some of the text will be there like that. We learn how to create such kind of things. So let's get started. So before I explain you these things, I just want to take you to the Google and I want to show you something that is special about this particular thing. If I write read more Elementor, you will not find a proper documentation or anything related to read more. Almost the people they are confused about read more tags, how to use it. Okay. Number one, number two, if you'll go to Google's also, if you type read more Elementor, so you'll find only one video that have a lot of dislike and rest video is not about read more uh, about uh, Elementor. They all are using different, different things, but none of them yet have created that video. If I'll go to Google, if I'll type read more Elementor working or whatever related to something, then you'll find Elementor read more not working. So many people, they are confused about this particular element. So let's get started. So first guys, we'll learn how to use read more extension in our website. Then we'll learn how to create that read more inside the page one. So for using this one, we have to make a small setting, go to dashboard and inside dashboard, you have to scroll down and you have to find setting. And inside setting, you have to click on reading one. So here you will find your home display page, a static page, home page will be a different page or the post page will be different page. And here the home page has the latest page. If your home page acts as a blog page, let's go to my website. If you look at my website, you'll find the home page is like something different. But if you go to blog page, only blocks are there. Nothing else are there only blocks. So this is the blog page is known as archive page or blog page. So we are going to set if you look at the URL is different than what we have here in the home page. Similarly, we are going to make a change in the home place display. So you have to select a static page. If you have only blog page as a home page, then you should select latest post. If you have home page created especially for home page then you have to select your home page and then post page will be a blog page if you do, don't have blog page go and create a blog page go to this one add new page and type there blog and say publish go to this area refresh the page and then again click on static page home page as home page post page as blog okay here you can maintain the blog page uh, number of posts you can maintain that i'll teach you later in some other videos i'll click save change now go to post create new post say add new write the title of the page edit with read more then click on save draft next click on edit with elementor so once you are here scroll down and find this option click on add sections so select the sections whichever section you want, let's say select this section and click on add, then type here text editor or you can type it here and drag it in this area. Now we'll click on this again. We'll add one more section. Now we'll go search widgets and there we are going to find read more, drag it and drop it in this area just below the thing where let's say if you want this part to come on the top of the post for example let's say this is my post and there we have some data and i want only this much data to be there on the top so what i'll do i'll, I'll paste this particular read more extension here 
and I'll keep this thing in separate text editor. Okay, so this is the logic. I have added this one. I'll go back again and I'll go to text editor again just below this add one more text editor and paste some more data. Okay, this data I have pasted and this is my sum data and this this is the read more button and I'll say update. If you'll go and have a preview of this post, then you'll not find any changes here. Why? Because this particular extension is not going to work particularly for a blog post. This is going for the, this is going to work for archive pages. Let's say go to setting part where you did some setting here, setting then reading. There you selected post page as blog page. You have selected any of the pages from your website. So now go to pages, uh, all pages and there open blog page. Click on view and if you scroll down, you'll find edit with read more. Okay. Some data is there. Okay. That data we use and then there is continue reading option. Okay. If I'll click on continue reading means I'll find the rest of the data. If I'll go back, if I'll scroll, next blog will start. Same like title will be there, some content will be there, but here I haven't added that uh, continue reading button. For this one also, I didn't add it. For this one, I added continue reading button. So wherever you are, you'll add, this button is going to come up in the blog page. Now the question is how to add inside a, any of the blog posts this is blog page but how to add inside a blog page like this read more and it will be like open okay so go back first delete all these to avoid misconceptions i have deleted everything now i'll click on add new section and then what i'm going to search here i'll search toggle okay Toggle accordion video I have already created for more knowledge. You can use that video. That video will, link will be there in the description box. So I'll drag it and drop it in, in this area. Once you drag and drop it, you'll find toggle item. If you click the toggle title will be there and the description will be there. So you can write something. Okay. So here, what we have to do here, you have to change the name as read more okay and let's say i want only one toggle right so i'll cancel this one and next for icon you should select none means read more button is there but i don't want any icon there and then here you should write as dot 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 read more like that okay so make it more beautiful now click here to close this particular tab and next we have a style you can maintain border and all from this area can maintain the color for this is basically for toggle and then we have for title then we have for content you can manage the color topography background and all those things you can manage from here but above that i want some of the com content okay so what we'll do we'll add one more text editor on the top of it and there i'll paste some more content let's say this much content i have after reading this much read more button should be there. So I'll first update and let's have a preview of it. Click on preview. So we'll go to this area and it's going to refresh the thing. Okay. So this is our text. Then we have read more button. And if I'll click means read more spongium dollar set what of the data is there, but still read more is there. I don't want that read more to be there. So what we are going to use, we are going to add a small CSS classes, avoid that read more when it's active. So I'll go to element. I'll select this toggle. You have to select this particular toggle. Then you have to click on advanced. Then you have to go to CSS classes and there you have to type read more toggle. Make sure you should write read more toggle. You should not write toggles if you're making any change here you should make change here also read more toggle whatever the thing you're writing here same should be there here okay so i'll copy this particular thing 
and I'll click on update for this CSS classes and I'll go back again to my website and I'll click on dashboard and there inside appearance you have customize option click on customize then if you scroll down you'll find additional CSS class what are the themes you are using you'll find somewhere some places where you can add extra CSS classes so I'll remove this code what is the code I have I'll paste my code okay if you have Elementor Pro you can do it here only so if you scroll down you'll find CSS classes custom CSS classes if you haven't bought the Elementor Pro the link I have left in the description box you can click on the link and make a purchase I'll get a small commission this is kind of support you are providing to our work that's it if you're buying purchase using our link only now go back to particular this thing and click on publish means this code you have to add only once inside the custom CSS this is going to work throughout your website if you are going to use this particular CSS classes wherever you are using read more button okay so what we'll do we'll click on preview change okay so now if you scroll down if you click on read more our data is there but there's nothing like read more button you can see a small border line you can go to this particular option and select this one click on style border color border width are there title contains are there you can manage from here you can make all the changes stuff in this area and I have explained all the important things to you if I missed anything please let me know in the comment section I'll update you and I'll help you through the comment section only so I hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you